starts now with meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back everyone. We did have a lot of cloud cover around this morning, but then we did clear out and see a lot of blue sky and a lot of sunshine during the afternoon. And this was from a little bit ago on our opportunity bank guy cam. You can still see some of that blue sky and some sunshine in the capital city. High temperature of 48 degrees today, which is well above average for this time of year. Low temperature of 38 degrees this morning. Temperatures right now still pretty pleasant as most of us are currently in the 40s. So it does feel pretty nice outside, but there is a bit of a breeze around side so is making it feel a bit cooler. Sustained wind speeds are currently between 5 and 20 miles per hour in a lot of locations. And as we go through your night tonight in the valleys, the wind is actually going to get weaker as the night goes on. But in the higher elevations, as well as in the plains of north central Montana, the wind is actually going to get stronger as we go through tonight. And then we are going to have widespread gusty to strong winds around tomorrow. Sustained wind speeds are going to be between 15 and 35 miles per hour and wind gust over 50 miles per hour are going to be possible at times. A lot of this strong wind is going to be in the higher elevations as well as in the plains of north central Montana. The valleys will be sheltered for the most part, but there is still going to be a little bit of a breeze around, especially as we head in the tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Well, diminishing wind overnight tomorrow night and then for your day on Friday east of I-15. We could still see some wind around, especially during the morning, but west of I-15 really not expecting much in the way of wind with sustained wind speeds generally less than 15 miles per hour for most of the day. We also do have a high wind warning in effect for the Rocky Mountain front, including northwestern Lewis and Clark County, as well as locations just east of the Rocky Mountain front and Judith Basin County from midnight tonight or 9 a.m. tomorrow morning through 8 p.m. on Thursday. Wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour are going to be possible at times. And areas of blowing dust are also going to be possible, which could significantly reduce visibility in some areas. So please be aware of that if you are going to be traveling in any of the counties that are under this warning. Now, as we go through your night tonight, we are going to have partly cloudy skies and mainly dry conditions. Heading into your day tomorrow, we are going to have mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. And for the most part, we are going to be dry. But as we head into tomorrow evening, there are going to be a few rain and sun showers around in north central Montana as a backdoor cold front begins to work its way through our area. And then there are going to be some scattered snow and the rain showers around tomorrow night especially in the mountains as that cold front continues to work its way through our area. And there will continue to be some scattered sun showers around Friday morning as well, especially in the higher elevations, but we could see some snow in the lower elevations as well. That snow will start to taper off as we head into the second half of Friday, and we are going to have decreasing clouds during the second half of the day on Friday as well. In terms of snow accumulation in the lower elevations, less than an inch of snow accumulation is expected if you receive any snow at all. In the higher elevations, especially in the Little Belt and Big Belt Mountains, that's where we could see a few inches of snow accumulation, which could create some slick travel, especially on Highway 89 between Belt and White Sulphur Springs. So just be aware of that if you are going to be traveling in that area during the day on Friday. Tonight, definitely a mild night lows for most of us are actually going to be above freezing. A few spots are actually going to stay in the 40s overnight tonight. Tomorrow, a warm day. High temperatures in the mid to upper 40s and low to mid 50s in most locations. We are going to be close to the record highs, but really not expecting most locations to set a record high during the day tomorrow. Colder on Friday, high, high temperatures back in the 30s, but this weekend is going to be nearly perfect. Mostly sunny skies, highs in the 40s, and really not a ton in the way of wind either. Chance of rain and snow showers later in the day on Monday. Some scattered snow showers around on Tuesday as a storm system works its way through our area, and it will be chilly on Tuesday with highs in the 30s.